this lesson is about unions and structures and bit fields so we will learn here first about what are unions and how to use them so let's get started so what we do here is that i am defining a union so how we define a union is we use the keyword union so it's very similar to structure so we define union then the tag name like here it's person then we open a bracket we write the variable type like char then the name so it's a character array so it's data type and then variable one so similarly we can keep on going and here it's the second one is int ssn and third one is long roll but what's the difference between union and structure so both of them are looking very similar but the thing is union in that we just there is enough space to hold one of the members so at one time you can represent either the name ssn or roll number so you cannot represent all of them like you do in the structure where a person consists of his name ssn and roll number but in union what happens is that we are assuming that okay you can retrieve a person based on his name you can retrieve his information based on his ssn or even his role so all of them are unique for that person and you can use any one of them so what does the memory structure for this union look like so if we consider the size of the union person so it will not be the sum of char name 20 int ssn and long roll but it will be the maximum among them so it's the maximum of size of its member all its members so this is the thing we have to remember about union so in union the size is equal to the maximum size of any of its elements so here if we see so in this union we have char we have int and we have long so this is 4 byte this is 4 byte and this is 20 byte so we will have the size of the union as 20 and next so similarly if we consider structure person so here we have the name is 20 bytes then we have ssn and roll number both are 4 4 bytes so this size is total of 28 which is the summation of size of all but here the size of the memory given to this union is maximum of all its members which is 20 bytes so and next thing that we want to see is bit fields so many times what happens is let's say i know that okay minimum it's 4 byte the size of any integer is 4 byte and if i have a memory constraint device so this will be too much of a memory wastage because i know that okay let's say i have a protocol kind of thing and where version we have some variable called version and it can have maximum up to just four values so we don't need to use all of them so all the 2 to the power of 32 values but I just need 4 values hence what I will do that here if you see so in version I put a colon 2 which means it's just given space equal to 2 bits so this version is now just a 2 bit number similarly if I type unsigned int type 3 so it means it's a 3 bit number and similarly sign so it's just a one bit number so this is the beauty of the field bit field where we can assign size in terms of bits so let's move further and let's see what the code looks like so now we have defined one person 
one structure and one protocol so let's see what the execution is after this so we have a union we define a union and then we copy string copy p1 dot name with jacker so now if there is memory like this so in this something like jacker will be stored so this goes on to 20 bytes so here jacker so let's say jacker is stored and then slash zero now what happens is that i print p1 dot name and we will see that it will print p1 then we have print ssn so now this is the catch here so if i write now p1 dot ssn so i have a memory just sufficient to hold one of the variables so i have already stored p1 dot name and now if i try to access p1 dot ssn so it will not be giving me any useful result because there is nothing stored corresponding to p1 dot ssn so there might be some random value which is actually value of whatever jacob has in the bit bit wise so next we see size of p1 and after that we define structure person p2 and give the name jacob his ssn number and roll number now we print the size p2 and other thing is we have protocol p we define we give numbers which are just sufficient so first is we have a sign which is 0 or 1 third second is type which is 3 bit so it is maximum value is 8 and the first one value is 2 so let's try to run this code and see so So we try to run this code and if you see here so if we see so the name is so here is the name of p1 is jacob so we see that this jacob got gets printed now when we try without assigning the person p1 which is union uh, num numeric value and we try to print the ssn so it gives us something random where it is unsigned something corresponding to the jack of whatever is written and then we see size of p1 the union is so it's just 20 which is the maximum size of all its members and size of p2 is 28 which is 20 plus 4 bytes for the long and 4 bytes for the end then we print the bit field so we get 0 6 and 